Users can create custom catalog objects in CAP in order to have their own representation of parts with easy catalog access and features such as pricing. To make these parts have a 3D model assigned to them as well, adds use for having the part being able to show in visual impression. For an example today, I'm going to be making a box box file pedestal lay on its side. For more complicated 3D modeling, you'll want to use other AutoCAD based tutorials. To make a catalog part this way, we need a 2D representation, the 3D model, and some basic catalog info to assign them to. The best practice is to make sure the 3D model is made out of polyface meshes. After I start by placing the file pedestal, I then use the cap copy to 3D command, placing a 3D file pedestal in the drawing. We take apart the object by using explode to convert it to a mesh. Next, I put it on its side using the 3D rotate command to line it up with how we want it. To make our 2D symbol, I make some lines tracing the outside of our new 3D pedestal, then use flatten to iron out their height. With these two components completed, we can use the Make Cap Part button. In the initial window, we select the drawing for our 2D plan representation, its insertion point, and make sure, since we're including a 3D representation, the Include a 3D Block box is checked. After we hit Next, we can then set the tag properties for the plan view to use with the completed part. Click Next once again, and we now select our polyface meshes for our 3D part and adjust the base point to match that of the one we put for the plan view. Lastly, we fill out our catalog information, making sure we add a star to the catalog code because it's a special and not a part of the actual installed catalog. With the information in place, we select the custom catalog file for our part to be saved to and can pull it from our Projects folder in the Explorer window into the drawing. This now also means we can save our drawing and view the part in visual impression. Here, we can option our original pedestal to apply materials. For our custom objects, we don't have options, but we can apply the custom materials by using Visual Materials and the Advanced tab. This completes our part for presentation.